60 million and 20% ownership. Nancy, I speak for everyone here when I say we're all very impressed with your business, but uh, we can't get our heads around 60 million, not with the way the market is right now. Then what's your price? We can go 50 million, and that's five times your annual profit and an excellent outcome for this deal. I'm already giving you a 50% discount and you want more? I've been there for 10 years and I'm not selling until I'm properly compensated. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's talk about your ownership. If you really want to move away Who from Who says anything business. about moving on? Don't put words in my mouth. I'll keep 20% ownership as an incentive for continued performance. We could go to 60 million if you agree to 10% ownership. Gentlemen, remember the first rule of negotiation. She who cares less wins. I could remain at INX for a few more years and make more than what you're offering me right now. 60 million and 20% ownership. She thinks this is a 50% discount? She's crazy if she thinks this business is worth 120 million. The numbers will work. We have to sell the company really fast within a year, but it'll work. That's way too risky. We'll get a ton of questions as to why it improved so dramatically in such a short amount of time. Well, I think it's the only option we have. I'm with Jason on this one. It's not a great plan, but it is our only option, Robert. Okay. Say we go with 60 million. How are we going to finance it? Who's going to actually give us that much money for this company? Well, um, I actually have some leads I could follow up on at New Park Advisory. It's a long shot, but uh, they just might go for it. Uh, long shot's better than no shot at all. Make it happen. By the way, uh, I was shocked to see that you brought the limited partners on board. How did you do that so quickly? Well, they're not on board yet. Martin's paying attention to that, working on it even as we speak. So, Zeus tonight? I know those blonde chicks ignored us last time, but I'm sure we can get them this time you, at the bar. You crazy? Byron's about to kill us, and if we go back there, we might not leave with our heads still attached to our bodies, so, uh, eh. Hey, I don't think Byron's gonna mind, as long as we're not sharing the same stripper this God, time around. Leonard, seriously, why don't you just find yourself a real girl? You know, when was the last time you dated anyone? Oh, wait, never, yeah. Don't remind me of that, Todd. Seriously, man, just relax, get over yourself, find yourself a nice lady, and let me work on getting us a deal, huh? How about that? All right. Hey guys, great news for you. Good, we could use some good news. We've got a great deal for you. It's uh, 20 million, maybe 30 million financing for this tech company. <sighs> is that a joke? Our minimum is 100 million. Anything less is below the bar. That's your minimum in a seller's market. You have a different minimum in a beggar's market. Or maybe we could just call Byron and ask him how many deals you brought in lately. <laughs> Run it up the ladder. I mean, it is a little bit on the small side. It's simple, Leonard. Do you want a couple million in fees or not? Dude, maybe if it was a little bit bigger, we'd be up for going further. The stripper said when you took her to the private room last night. Let me make this easy. You do this deal for us, and we give you all our debt deals over the next year, guaranteed. No competition. That's at least $10 million in fees. Um, we, we will think it over. David. You know, that's a pretty bold promise to guarantee 10 million in fees when you don't even know how many deals you're gonna make next year. 
Yeah, relax. They're bankers. <laughs> They'll be gone or fired by the end of next year. And even if they do remember, we can always say they were drunk. I tell you, Martin, it's like the rest of the world. It's all about the touch. You see, most people think that sport shooting is for tough guys. But the way I figure it, it's the gentle touch that has the hard touch beat every day of the week. Nice. That's nice. Can I, can I try that? Oh, sure, son. You want to shoot can the rifle? Right? Yeah. There you go. One hand here, one hand here. And remember, never touch that safety until okay. you are ready to shoot. OK. Um, Dad, I you know I never really like asked you about about your work. What? Well, son, we invest in funds that invest in distressed companies. We turn things around and make things better. It's a great place to put your money right now. Put that arm down a little bit. It's all right. Son. You so you my you know a lot of people that are uh, in 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 companies in trouble. I know my fair share of them. That's the sight there. You want to put that one right on the target. Make sure you bend your knees a little bit. There you go. My, well. You're looking professional, son. There you go. Do not touch that trigger until you are ready to fire. You know the people that, that are in, in the... Try a shot there, Mark. I'm going to shoot it. I'm just going to shoot it. Ah, I reckon you must still have the safety on, Martin. Let me have the rifle, please. Thank you. I always that's, forget about that. That's all right. Hi, Dad. Martin, I'm your father. Dad. You can call me Dad. Yeah, I know, Dad. 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 I, uh, I, I, uh, I, my company needs help. Yeah. Of course, Martin, anything. Can I, can I ask you for a favor? Of course, my dad. So where is she? Uh, she's close. Ugh. Probably jogging or something. Yeah, no worries. So, uh, uh, we have some good news for you today, Nancy. Oh, I hope it starts with 60 million. Uh, yeah, even better. Uh, we're willing to offer you 60 million for INX and give you 25% ownership afterwards. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. So, I'm proud about this sudden burst of generosity. I'm surprised. Well, um, <clears throat> we just realized that you've been so generous by giving us that 50% discount that we'd be foolish for asking for more. <laughs> I'm so glad you've come to your senses. Maybe we can actually get this deal done. One more thing. When I sign my new contract with you, I need to be able to leave within two years. I am not staying beyond that. Uh, sounds good. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Great. Ciao. Ciao. And we see this as an exciting opportunity to enter the technology space. And it's much less risky than a bigger investment. We are getting a 50% discount. And we can flip it within a year for 20% return. More if we improve operations. Something wrong? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Maybe your golf game really has improved more than your investment game, Robert. You came to us a year ago to raise a billion, and this is what you bring us. Paula, we had a lot of great opportunities then. It's just that the market is- It's just that a black hole appeared and swallowed up all those opportunities, right? Or do you have another explanation? Paula, the way the market's been lately, uh, it's been impossible to get a deal. Now, I know this isn't exactly what you're looking for. Just because you put a ribbon on a piece of dog crap doesn't make it a good gift. If you can show me another private equity firm in this market that's doing a lot of deals lately, I'll be more Just than glad to one, listen. Just one, I could show you dozens. Paula, you know we don't do distressed investing. Now, you can't exactly veto this either, hence the limited portion of your title. I'm not saying I can veto it. I'm just saying I'm unhappy. 
And you shouldn't come running to me the next time you go to raise a fund, if you even have a next fund. You might want to reconsider that. Are you deaf? Perfect hearing, actually. What have you got? Something better than INEX. A distressed fund, maybe? No, no, I have something even better for you, Paula. How would you know what's better for me? Oh, well, I'm not saying I do, but uh, we have a mutual friend who does. He has exactly what you're looking for. What are you talking about, Robert? Who? You're having lunch with Clyde tomorrow at the Ritz-Carlton. Uh, you do remember Clyde, don't you? Gentlemen, 